Thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Are you looking for a reliable and affordable VPS hosting? Hostinger offers an exclusive Black Friday deal on their VPS subscription plan. You can get a 12 month VPS hosting plan for just $6.99 per month, which is a whopping 63% discount. But wait, there is more. You can also use my code, which is code with Ari, to get 10% discount on top of the discount that Hostinger offers. Don't miss out on this amazing offer and take your website to the next level with Hostinger's powerful VPS hosting. What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to the 6th episode of my Larval Livewire video series where we will have a look at how you could work with flash messages once we add a new task. Flash messages are temporary messages that are stored in the session and displayed to the user after a specific action or event has been performed. Think about our current example. Once we create a new task, we should prompt the user with some kind of message which will say that the task has been created. They are commonly used to provide feedback or notifications to the user, such as success messages, error messages, or, or informative messages. Us developers will understand coding-wise when a request was successful or not, but users who use our website probably don't. Now, using flash messages in Livewire is extremely easy. Actually, just as easy as you use them in Laravel itself. We need to store our flash message inside a session. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm. And let's open our LiveWire component for a moment, which is the task index. And right after our task creation, we're going to make use of the session method. And the session method is a helper method that allows you to interact with your session data. The session method provides various methods to interact with the session, such as storing values, retrieving values, checking if a value exists, and removing values from a session. What we're going to do right here is chaining the flash helper function to it, which allows you to store a value in a session for a single request. It accepts two parameters. The first parameter is the key or name of the flash message, which in our case will be message. Then the second parameter is the value of the flash message, which in our case will be task successfully created. All right, we need to show our task some way to the user on the front end. And once again, let's create a new component inside our components directory named alert.blade.php. And right here, let's define a div. Let's add an at if directive because we're gonna check if our session has a message, which is the message that we just defined. If it is, we're gonna create a div right here with a class of Padding 4, margin bottom is 4, the text is SM, the width is 2-6, MX is auto, the text is green 800, it's rounded LG, the BG is green 50, and that's basically it. Then, inside our div, we're going to create a span, where the class is font medium. It's going to add a success alert. And then right below of it, it's going to print out the session message. All right. Now let's finally call our component real quick. Let's navigate to our task index. And well, let's actually delete the wire mouse enter. We need to navigate to our button real quick. Otherwise, we can't submit it. And we don't need the confirm. Well, let's open our task index. And right above our input field, we're going to make a call to our X alert. Close it, navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, create a task number three, click on new task, where you will see that a new alert message has been prompted to us. Now I want to wrap up this short video where we talked about live wire flash messages. In the next video, I want to have a look at the use of events. If you do like my content and you want to see more, please hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.